if you want to know how you can create such sounds then this video is for you basically what I used was Ableton Live stock plugins only um, everything is built in so if you use Ableton Live uh, suite then you can basically follow along and create such sounds by yourself now I already hear you saying okay I don't have to build those kind of sounds by myself because I simply use uh, sample libraries loops whatever right uh, yeah you can honestly and I did but sometimes I found um, designing your very own sounds maybe even from scratch you know uh, it's great to have a, a skill set uh, that can inspire you to use in a further further uh, circumstances right maybe you stumble over a great uh, preset sound or that you kind of like you know and you want to improve it so maybe um, the skill that you learn here maybe can lead to something else you know maybe you use that specific knowledge and then it inspires you to come up or implement it somewhere else inside your music production right maybe it's on a baseline or maybe on a pad or whatever synth sound doesn't really matter you know um, I think it's a great thing to have in your toolkit as a producer uh, you can't get wrong on this so yeah let's jump right in my name is Silvano from roughinstudio.com where I share weekly videos on the topic of raw minimal micro house uh, production let's jump right in if you saw my nails maybe um, I had some fun with my son you know he colored my nails so uh, if you saw that some of you are maybe curious about this so yeah let's jump right into the content let's do some music let's do some sounds together so yeah what I'm basically running here are uh, three different instances of uh, synth sounds as you can hear So yeah, this is basically the break that we are working with, right? And it sounds quite boring. And I want to improve the tension and release. So basically, uh, an arrangement in essence is always creating tension and release, right? So kind of a dynamic in some sort of uh, variation. And uh, the first thing I like to do on the synths is basically simply playing with the frequency, right? Opening the filter up. it to a macro and also on the wavetable synth I'm uh, using the the unison amount right and I'm also dialing a little bit minimum and uh, maximum amount here basically more minimum right so with the macro we control these two values let's try it out Right. So simply with those two dials, we already create some kind of uh, tension for the build-up. Now, I simply automate that. Yeah, and here's the second layer, or synth kind of, right? And I'm doing the exact same thing here. Unison and filter. Works great, I think. Let's do that quickly. And I'll do the same thing again on, on the third uh, synth. 
Very simple but very effective effective I think right simply open up the, the, the filter create some tension as you can see I also play around with the baseline Lowering the decay a little bit, sustain, create even more detail and a little bit more tension. So I'm lowering the decay rather than the volume or whatever on the bass line. Some fine tuning, sometimes also simple silence works great for some impact. Just little slice of silence for certain sounds like closed hi hats and whatnot, right? Simply test out different things for the silence. But here for, for this hi hat. Some simple volume fades also work great, right? So taking out the bass line maybe. Yeah, could work, right? Basically what we did is just opening up the filter, um, taking out a few hi-hats and the bass line before the drop kind of and that alone built up some tension during the break, right? Very simple. Also some volume fade. But I think we can do more, right? Let's see. Um. I simply make a duplication of this uh, synth here. And with the intention to create um, custom build up sound or effects transition kind of sound right and I'm going into the wavetable setting here and using uh, some some sort of noise right swept noise maybe let's see if we just filter that out with the automation that we already have. Let's see. Let's just play around a little bit with that.
I simply invert the, the MIDI notes so the source is kind of from the track, right? Since we duplicated the sound and adjusted it a little bit with a different wavetable setting and inverted MIDI notes. Don't need that, we only want kind of a build up sweep sound. I'm running two filters in parallel mode. Right? So in context we can't really hear it. It's almost not audible, but it makes a huge difference, I think. In order of build up creating tension. Also adding some panning, auto pan. Alright, so we get some movement going on with the panning and also I have this auto filter here as you can see it's, it's a swirl I don't remember exactly if I built this by myself but the crucial part here is uh, playing with the with the speed of the LFO right in the setting I'll talk about that later uh, later on So we have this world, really nice, plus uh, the the noise, right? And maybe. Just have a listen quickly. Let's move that a little bit over here so it's more aligned. Of course, we also need to move that um, resonance automation a little bit further together with the frequency, right? Let's have a listen again.
also adding some some movement to this swirl here or also the spin mode here on the auto filter itself works great actually even better right nice cool and again here if you play around with the LFO's speed then you get those swirls right so I went with 10 Hertz so 10 kilohertz right probably I don't know anyway just dial the shit up all the way up so you because you get some swirls like these right Okay, nice. Maybe some adjustments here. Let's have a listen together with the noise. Yeah, nice. What do you think? I think we really, really, really increased the tension, the the build up for this break here. I'll jump back into the video in a second but before we do so i want to say thank you thank you that you watched so far really this means a lot i wouldn't make this those videos if no one would watch so you watch this for so i want to reward it and i want to give you something for free which is my ableton live one tool preset pack so this is basically ableton live based stock pack those are basically presets you know that you can drag and drop into your uh, channels let's jump quickly in and see some examples how this can help you out and how it can inspire you and then we jump back to the content thanks for watching sounds pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free Let's make this a little bit dirtier maybe, right? Automated. Another tool here, right? Pretty simple. Again, those are not the, the most complicated whatever tools, they are simple, straightforward tool. To make a little bit of impact to add uh, those little things that i like to talk all the time in my videos which is add things that you can feel but not hear you know so that's the sound right clean and nice and now let's transform it with those tools of course we want some additional grooves right can transform shit pretty easily with those tools it lets you really tweak stuff you know that's my whole point it's not the fanciest shit but it's quick and an easy fix and that inspires you you know combine it add more stuff add more tools and it keeps you going i hope so hope it does you know so let's add some stuff to this maybe we'll right let's 
very quick A B Sounds pretty different, right? Those are little sound design tools to keep you going, hopefully. Go and grab it for free. I also want to show what's possible with one simple, simplistic, minimalistic tools. You know, you can transform your shit with stock plugins. So yeah, if you want that, grab it on the link below. Thanks for watching. Now let's get back to the, to the content. Let's resample that quickly, both layers together, and then I also want to do a separate one for the, for the swirl, maybe, or for the noise. Let's see. Uh, let's do the swirl. Of course, I need to use resample here again. This is still just a swirl, and the other one is the layer. Actually, I named it wrong. But anyway, so we can place that swirl throughout the arrangement if you like. And I also want to improve it a little bit, adjust it a little bit. So I have different swirls. I can spread out throughout the arrangement they are from the same actual sounds right so we used kind of the sounds within the track but we simply evolved them into something differently so we do the same here with the swirl let's see I like to use um, uh, the transpose Just a little bit too high. So we go within the clip, right? And then we draw a little automation here on the transpose right so we get a different vibe here and we use it maybe somewhere else reverse it even without it Big difference already, right? So if you just run this in the background a little bit, it sounds more advanced. Such sounds, in my opinion, can make or break a track, right? They are really small little bits and pieces spread out throughout the track. Some ear candies, like I I like to call them like uh, ear candies, right? Maybe even using a, a grain delay to further improve it a little bit, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Lots of things we can do here, right? So, yeah, I hope this helped out. And I hope this is inspiring to use such sounds throughout your arrangement and also use simple stuff, right? To increase your arrangement, the break, the impact of your breaks if you need to. Um, with, again, some noise, some auto filter and filter in general opening it up simply on 
and wavetable in my case. So yeah, have fun experimenting. My name is Warno. Cheers. Bye bye.